Welcome to the first video in the Animal Flow series. Now Animal Flow can be used to complement your workouts and can be super fun. In this video, we're going to look at some Animal Flow form specific stretches and how to perform them. One of the fundamental forms in animal flow is your beast. To get into your beast, place your hands directly in line with your shoulders, fingers pointed forward. You also want to make sure that your elbow pits are pointed forward. From here, you want to walk your feet forward slightly so that your knees are in line with your belly button. From here, you want to make sure that your hands, your knees and your toes are in one straight line. Once you are set in this position, start by rounding your spine completely, tucking your chin in and extending your spine almost like performing a cat camel. From there, find a middle ground between the two extremes. Now, you are all set to get into your beast position. Start by lifting your knees slightly, just one inch off the ground. We call this your activated beast position. From here, lean all the way forwards onto your hands. From there, sit back all the way onto your legs. Again, find a middle ground between the two extremes so that your weight is equally distributed across all your four limbs. In our form specific stretches, we want to sit back into something called a loaded beast. To sit back into your loaded beast, slightly push your knees away so that you can make a little room to sit back all the way. From there, you want to sit your hips back all the way onto your heels. From there, extend your hands all the way forward, making sure that your forehead is just one inch off the ground as well. Now this position, we call it as your loaded beast. The first movement in the form specific stretch series is going to be your beast reach. To perform the beast reach, we are going to start by lifting one feet off the ground, keeping the toes pointed away in a plantar flexion. From there, we are going to drive the hip up as high as we can towards the roof. From here, we are going to drive the energy forward all the way onto our hands by bringing the lifted knee right next to our elbows. Now here are a couple of points that you want to keep in mind when you are performing your beast reach. You always want to keep the reaching leg tucked tight into your body with knee super close to your chest and heel to your glute. You also want to maintain a strong protraction in your shoulders and you want to keep that back leg as straight as you can when you drive your hip up. The second movement in the series we have is your wave unload. To perform the wave unload, again, you want to start by driving your hips up directly towards the ceiling, knees super straight. From here, start by loading the shoulders and rounding your back while keeping your chin tucked in. Begin the wave by dropping the hip down, carrying the wave through your spine and ending up with your chest open and your arms externally rotated. Begin the return by tucking your chin in and carrying the exact same wave going all the way back into that high hip position before returning back into your loaded beast. Third movement in the series, we have your crab reach. To get into crab, sit on all your four limbs and lift your hip up just one inch off the ground. Just like in your beast, sit forward all the way onto your legs and all the way onto your hands and find middle ground between the two extremes. Once you've found your crab position, start by lifting one arm off the ground and bringing that hand in front of your chest. Initiate the movement by driving your hip up into a three-point bridge. While getting into that bridge, you want to corkscrew the base arm by rotating it externally and creating a drive upwards. From here, take your reaching arm all, all the way over your head, creating a frame around your head. This is going to be your crab reach position. From here, return back by going back into that three point bridge before dropping your hip down. Fourth movement is going to be your scorpion reach. To perform the scorpion reach, start by taking your reaching knee all the way to your opposite wrist, and we call this your loading that scorpion tail. From here, drive the knee out in a circular fashion, driving it all the way to the top. While performing this reach, you want to internally rotate your base foot and press and elevate through your shoulders. Return back to the loaded position by driving the reaching knee back to the wrist before getting back into your loaded knee. For the last movement we have is your ape reach. Your ape is going to be your deep squat position. Sit back on your heels, bring the back of your palms together and reach them forward such that your thumb fingers are just one inch off the ground. From here, externally rotate your hands backwards, thumbs pointed all the way back and sitting up all the way onto your toes. From here, return back into your set ape position by internally rotating your shoulders, again bringing your back of your palms together, sitting back into your first position. In the next part of this video, we're going to look at some form specific switches and transitions in animal flow. Until then, stay tuned, don't forget to smash the like button, don't forget to share and subscribe. See you.